Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this one after tutorial, we're trying to see how to build wonderful CLI applications in Node.js. So what are CLI applications? So CLI applications simply means command line interface applications that allows people to run your program, your function within your terminal, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see some of the various packages and various libraries that can enable you and I to be able to build our own CLI in Node.js. So first of all, the most important ones or the most commonest ones are command line JS. Is very very powerful and very nice to use. We also have corporal JS, so we have commander like in the military. We also have corporal caporal, right, just like in the military. We also have vopal, very interesting. So in case you know commander JS, to be very easy for you to learn corporal or vopal because the APIs are almost the same. We also have yes JS, which is very very interesting. And we have Encora JS that allows you to create prompt interactive CLIs. We also have glucan, which is also very interesting and very powerful. You have Silly. CLI and also have Oakleaf by Heroku and we have Neon. So there are several packages, but these are the most commonest ones and very useful ones. And also let's see in building CLIs to you, you're supposed to make it more interactive and more user friendly, right? So some of the packages that can enable you to add colors to add several utilities include chalk. Chalk and color allows you to add color to it, right? As the name goes, chalk and color. We also have progress bar that allows you to add progress bar stuff to it we have figlet to enable you to do as key as sky types animations then we also have glue.js very very useful package this package is very very wonderful this allows you to create tables to create gorgeous to create spinners to create progress bars and several aspects so let's see how to work with them right so we'll be going through some of them not all of them in this wonderful series okay so let's see how to work with it so we start in our project so i'm just going to create a simple we're working with commander Yes, for now, then you start to So I have my CLI, there's nothing here. Now I'm just going to create a simple. I'm going to initialize this particular stuff. So let's create an PM in it, right? To be creating it inside a particular folder. So let me expand it. Okay, so let's give it as a same name, new CLI tweets. Then the version is the same thing, the description, let's call it as a Building CLI in new yes with command right. That's the first one. And then we're using in the .js. You can change it to anything, but let's make it CLI.js. Then no test, no repository, and let's call it as CLI app. Then the name is just see the colors. Lances, you can just ignore it. Perfect. So now let's see how to open it. So first of all, we have an empty JSON file. It's so we're going to create a simple JSON file for us. So let me open this particular folder that we have that we have created, which is this one, right? So this, okay, perfect. So if you check from here, we like that you just, just created a package or JSON file with all the details that you entered there. Very interesting. Just initialize the particular repository or folder. So we have our package of this and then we don't have anything so let's first of all see how to work with commander JS. so to install just go to npm install then commander commander right then let's save it to this particular repository so that the save will mean that it's going to add it just to this particular package of this one file so it is downloading it perfectly it's going to add it instead of just added the node models then it has added it to it perfectly so if i refresh this so now we go back to the gym. Now it has added it to it, right? It has a particular version. Very interesting. Now let's see how to work with it. So we have an index file, a CLI.js file, which I'm going to create. So let's create that file here. And let's save it as CLI, right? CLI.js. Can be any name, but let's make it as CLI.js. Perfect. So first of all, let's see how to work with commander.js. To work with commander, you just have to test for imports. The various packages, right? So you can just use a normal let's call this const, then we call it as a program. Let me increase the size. Then you can just go to require. And here you're just going to put in a particular package. Right. So that is all. So that is all we need to work with it. So importing this particular package, the commander, then we'll be able to work with it. So it's going to be the particular program. The main the main idea that just go with this program, right? The one we stored there. Then you can just specify the version. Then let's give it as a version of let's say 0 0.01 as the version. 
that is all that we need right then the next thing we need is we need to also pass everything that is going to be there. so program does right then we need to pass in the process with um that's all we need. perfect so this is the most important thing that we need to run or to create our CLI. So everything I'll be doing will be going in between this particular stuff. Between here, right? Perfect. So let's see how to work with it. So you run if I run this node CLI.js. Then now it's not giving me anything. If I go with dash dash help, I'm going to see the help right with the version, which is this one, and then the help information. Very interesting. So just with this simple three lines of code, you have been able to create something useful. So if I go back to the help, like that. Dash dash version it's going to give me the particular version 0.01 which is 3D. Very interesting. Now let's see how to add some logic to it or to add some other commands to it. So it's going to be commands. So first of all, it's going to be program dot command. So program dot command is going to give us the, the particular command we want to add. So let's say I want to add a simple command let's say save, right? So perfect. So let's say let's let it create or CLI say something. Perfect. So that is all that we need. Then when you see this, we can also add a particular description, right? By going with dots, so we can make it beautiful by doing doing like this. Then I want to describe what it does. So it's going to be description. Then the description is going to be let's say say something interesting. Right, so that is the first thing. Then the next thing we need is the particular action. So right now, if I save this one here that we have, let's save it and then let's run it. See, so if I go back to the help, then it's going to give us the particular versions, the options, and then the commands, right? Which is C here. Very interesting. Right, so if I type on C, now it's not going to give us anything because we don't give it any function. If I do C that help. It's not going to give us anything, right? Because there is no com there is no instruction, there's no function, there's, it's not doing anything, it's just telling us the command. Now to add a, an action to it, you just go with action. Then we're going to specify the particular action. So we're going to be take a function. Then let's say this function is going to take a name, then it's going to log out that particular one. So let's go to the console. Let's log. Then to log out the name. Okay. So, perfect. so that is the most important thing, right? So now if I go back to here, this one is as node CLI, but yes, then I say say, mm, say hello, right? So now it's saying hello, right? It is printing the hello that we typed in. Very simple and very easy to do. So the basic idea is that you're just going to import it perfectly, right? And then you just create a command, a particular command you want, the description. Then the action. So in case you want to make it simple, instead of writing say you want to make it a simple way, right? You can just bring the alias there. So dot alias alias, right? Dot alias. Then you're going to pass in the particular alias. So the alias is going to be let's say s. Right? If I save it like this, now instead of me running it as c like this, I can just go with the s. Then it's still going to work perfectly, just like that. So that is how to work with it in a very simple way. So now let's see how to add options to it or to work with options. So let's, let's go with options. So now to work with options, just going to go with the same thing program. And this program will take another option. Go to option. Then I can specify the option, the particular option that I have. So to add the option, it's going to be the option, right? Then I'm going to specify in most CLI options, you usually have to go with double stuff. So that when you go with this node, CLI.js, that does help. Any option usually have to go with this particular double dashes, right? So that if you check, you see that the options are having double double dashes. So that's how to, that's how it's going to be. So let's create a simple option. So it's going to be the normal C. So let's give it as let's say C, then let's say do, right? So dash D. One is saying something, one is doing something. <laughs> then you can just go like this, or can just specify the particular or other option of this. Then do something like that right do perfect so with that option you can just move on straight away and then you can just add a description that you want it to be so the description is going to be like this do something perfect so that is how to add an option to it 
So we have been able to see how to add a simple option to it. If I save it and I come back here, let's run it again. So now we have the do there, do something there. Very interesting. And this to run this, we're just going to go with dash dash do, then whatever you want to place there. So we help. Then it's going to edit because we did not specify something. How it's supposed to do? So to add an action, it's going to be action. Then let's put the option there. So it's going to be a normal function. Then it's going to take the particular way that you want it to carry on, right? So in adding a way to, we can actually put in something like let's say name. So let's say tax sort of name. Do a tax. Then going to pass in something like console dot log. So doing this tax something like this, right? Perfect, right? So we have something very simple. Now let's run this. See, so we have do hello, do hello, yeah. So doing this hello, right? Very interesting. So that is how to add an action to an option. Very interesting. The simplest way and the same way that you did. So thank you for watching this tutorial. So in case you have any question or contribution, you can just put inside the comment section below and then stay tuned for more interesting stuff in this tutorial. Thank you. Stay blessed.